Okay, uh, Mike Corbanix, you know, the civil case here, so let's talk about some of the differences. It's not beyond a reasonable doubt to prove it's by a preponderance of the evidence, which means just a little bit more than not. But in order to have a negligence case, you have to show that there was negligence, that there was a relationship, that there was a duty, which I think you can find here, and that it was unreasonably breached, unreasonably breached, not that it was handled the best way, but that it was unreasonably breached, that the consequences were foreseeable. The consequences of the action in a civil case have to be foreseeable, that they proximately caused the injury here, we're talking death by suicide, and um, that is basically the elements of a civil case. Now, we found out from our great producer, Juliana, that the uh, other defendants in this case have settled out, so there's an empty chair, uh, and that is the Division of Family Services, so they're out of this case, but nevertheless, there's still an empty chair that's there for the jury to consider the level of negligence with regard to that case. In your mind, though, is there a duty here to, for these doctors and, and nurses when they're making this report to investigate it, or if they come to this medical conclusion, my argument has been their responsibility is to report it and it's the division of family services and it's the police that are the people that are responsible for investigating it and lastly would this be a foreseeable outcome that could hold this hospital liable I know it's a lot those are great questions and you know when you break it down and take it one step at a time I, I, I don't think it's unreasonable if the hospital feels and they're obligated under the law that if they think there was some sort of violation or some sort of disservice done to a child, they have to report it. And if, if, it doesn't have to mean that their evidence clearly shows it, but it's something that's questionable. They're doctors, they're not lawyers. That's why you have specialized divisions of the government to investigate it, because they're experts in it. So I don't think they breach their duty if they f find suspicion, even if it's a mere suspicion, to at least investigate it. Because what would have happened if something happened and they never investigated? Yeah, that is the argument that's made all the time. I've confronted it many times myself. And you know, the bottom line here is that there are statutory requirements and obligations of the hospitals to report these things. And I, I, I mean no disrespect to this family in the case or whatever, but this kind of a big chilling effect down the road Road if hospitals have to start deciding without being able to investigate, maybe I shouldn't report it because, you know, maybe I'm wrong and I'll get sued. Uh, well, we'll see. At least that's my opinion. We're going to take a break.